You know what? You're probably not using the Notes app on your iPhone to its full potential. And that goes for your iPad too. Here's 10 tips and tricks as a guide to features you might not know about or aren't using to their full potential. Ready? Let's go. Here's number one. You can scan documents and add them as PDFs to your note. First, click on the photo icon. Second, select scan documents. Third, scan your documents and click save. You now have a PDF in your note that is searchable. Did you hear that? They are fully searchable. Now that is very handy indeed. Here's number two. You can use this scan feature to copy and paste text from a physical document into your note. First, click on that photo icon. Second, select scan text. Third, locate your text and click insert. Your text is now in your note as if you had written it yourself. Pretty neat, eh? Next, number three, switch on the power of quick notes. Go to settings, control center, and add quick note. You can now add a note from everywhere by swiping in the right corner and tapping the quick note button. But this works best on the iPad. It doesn't seem to be fully implemented on the iPhone yet, so watch this space. To access it on the iPhone, you'll have to go to the control center and be sure to select the quick note icon. That will also sync across all your devices, meaning you can pick it up on your iPad quickly enough. Moving rapidly on to number four, you can collaborate on a to-do or holiday packing list or something else with ease. First, create your list. Second, click the share icon. Third, make sure the collaborate option is selected. Fourth, share that link with another user. Your link now syncs across your devices. And believe me, this is very helpful when my wife went ahead with the kids and we could easily update each other on what needed to be added to my list to bring without deluging each other with messages all the time. Here's number five, create a password protected note. First on your note, click triple dot and select lock. The first time, choose to use your iPhone's code or a manual one. But don't forget, if you forget your manual code, your note won't be recoverable. So maybe don't do that unless you really need to. Your note now needs face ID or a code to be seen. Simple, effective, done. Number six, you can organize your notes with smart folders. Create a new folder by tapping new folder in the bottom left hand corner and selecting make it into a smart folder. Here you can create different folders like to do lists you haven't checked, specific tags or pinned notes. Simple organization really quickly. Here's another way to organize quickly with tip number seven, which is about grouping your notes by date. I rearrange my notes using the group by date feature all the time. By default, when you use a date sorting filter, notes are automatically divided into chronological groups. So you can see notes from today, yesterday, the previous 30 days, 2022, etc., etc. After turning it off, it will return to its previous appearance. So first, tap on the triple dot icon from the top right corner. Second, select group by date. Then you can choose between on or off. Alternatively, you can modify it from your iPhone settings. Go to settings, notes, switch off group notes by date under the viewing section or toggle it on and off. Simple and a really great way to organize your notes simply. Here's tip number eight, how to share a folder that you may have created. Share a notes folder by tapping triple dot and selecting share folder. Now when that invite is accepted, you can tag each other in the notes and the other person will get a notification. You can also see all the activities in the folder. A really great way to keep track on a whole load of notes and who's doing what at the same time. Tip nine is a little bit of a hidden feature and a little bit of a workaround, but it's a good one you can save a note as a PDF. First, open the note and tap the share icon. Below the title, select collaborate. Tap on collaborate and select send a copy. Swipe up further and then tap markup for PDF preview of your note. 
tap done, save file. Bingo, you now have a PDF. And here's tip number 10. Add the Notes app widget to your iPhone home screen to access it really quickly. With iOS 16, you can now have the Notes app widget on your iPhone home screen. This makes it instant to get inside one of your Notes folders or any specific note or access your more recent quick note. Here's how. First, long press on the blank space of your home screen until the apps start jiggling or long press on any app. Here, tap on plus from the top left corner of the screen. From the widget gallery, select the widget of your choice to add. You can swipe left to select the preferred size or style and tap on add widget. Now the widget will show up on your iPhone's home screen and you can drag to reposition it. Now you can also add the notes app as part of a smart stack widget too. Hope you've enjoyed this today. Thanks for watching. Try this video next and see you again soon. Cheers.